Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subbies, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. What I want to show you today is really quick, really simple, super easy DIY. It's almost a shame to call it a DIY. I saw this from Coupon to Provide. And it's just like an easy clipboard type situation using these 8x10 acrylic frames from Dollar Tree. And I have two of them. These magnetic clips right here. And I got some E6000 right here. And some regular old scrapbook paper. Let me move this out the way. Now, well, all I'm going to do is cut this scrapbook paper to 8 by 10 and I'm going to slide it in these in the um, picture frames and I'm using a coffee thing because one I really love coffee and two because these are going to go well I'm, I'm going to use I'm going to have, even though I'm going to have two sheets of paper, and I'm going to put it in the same one, because one is going in the kitchen, and I'm thinking about one, putting one in the living room, but, or either here in my room, I don't know yet. I'm going to figure it out. But I know I'm going to create a coffee thing, a coffee bar, so I do want one for the kitchen. So it's 8 by 10, so I'm sure it's 8 on the short side and 10 on the long side. So I'm going to do 8 here and I'm going to do 10 inches here. I'm just using my Fiskars trimmer. And let me grab one of these. And if you don't have a trimmer, just use this thing as a, a guide or a template. Should fit right in there with no problem, and that is how it looks. And I'm just going to take my E6000 and glue one of these magnetic clips on. And I don't think you can get too much more easy as than this with a D as a DIY project. I hope I don't tear up the clip. Let me just do it this way. There we go. And they stick it to each other. So I'm just going to put a little E6000 on. I'm going to try to center it. Oops. Okay, here we go. Just putting some right here. And hopefully it won't ooze out too much. And let me see if I can't get this here. I'm going to see if I can't use this to kind of center it. Because if this is 8, this is 8, so I need 4 inches to start. Ah, wish I had a ruler. Let me see. They're about right here. So I'm going to put it almost at the top. I hope you can see. There we go. I'm going to straighten this up. And I'm going to have to let this lay flat. I'm going to see if I can't get some. I'm going to clean up. There's a little bit of glue oozing out right there. I'm going to clean that up with a paper, paper clip. No work. With a tooth. To pick no with a q tip if I can find some and I'm just gonna let this dry overnight I'm actually gonna cut out the other one and let it dry overnight and then when they dry I'll come back and I'll show you guys hey guys I'm back it's um the day after I did these 
and I just want to show them to you really fast. This is the first one, and as you can see, the clip is here, and it's there to stay. And I'm gonna... There we go. And this is my DIY, and here's the other one. Same thing, like I said, I'm going to use these... I'm gonna use at least one of them in the kitchen near my coffee station that I'm going to make or put together and I don't know when we use the other one both of them may go in there for right now but who knows but I just wanted to show y'all this really quick and easy DIY didn't take hardly any time it's really simple really easy and I will actually put the video to where I got this or this idea in the description bar okay or in the description box all right guys thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't i greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your positive comments are appreciated come back anytime and i'll see you in the next video bye bye guys